bit magical about it. Where maybe that's because it's in in a place where where it's not not supposed to be. I had always wanted to do it actually. Even as a kid, I'd always loved it seeing buskers um, on the underground. Like, I'd always hope that I'd see one as soon as I went into a tube, tube station. The underground is such an important part of London. For me, what I say is that it's a bit like the veins of London. The flow of people, and at the end of the day, people are what gives life to the city. Buskers are a bit like injections of energy to those flows. It's a kind of fascinating theatre. I think the moment you sort of stop walking along as a passenger, and then you sort of put your guitar case down in my in my instance, but then you sort of set your little thing up, whatever it's going to be. You then sort of cross the barrier between you. You create then a sort of stage and audience. You just create it by just turning around with a guitar. The first day was Embankment, which I subsequently found that nobody actually plays if they can help it. And I started, and after about an hour, I think I made about three pens. <laughs> then I started listening to the other buskers about which were the best pitches and at what times. At Westminster, the acoustics are just incredible and it feels effortless like singing. It's like singing into the best mic and having the best equipment because it's, ju it's just so easy. Once you've had a good sing, um, you feel pretty um, calm again. It's just great to be able to interact um, so freely with people. So my case is um, checking the people all the time, so watching people. So if people look like a serious, so I never play loud song. It's a really easy, relaxing song. With a fluid audience, there's you're really aware of your in position on the, on the space that they're going through and they're passing through. They've obviously got to get from A to B and they weren't expecting this other person to be in the middle. So the audience is moving. You've got to really perform everything really well because people will only hear like 20 seconds of you singing, so it's got to be spot on. In some ways it's, it's a very anonymous um, way to perform, but um, it's also very personal because there's just you and then a whole lot of people not very far away. So as opposed to sort of performing on a stage where you're quite removed from the audience, it's, it's quite an instant kind of performance and reaction. I love it because I can interact with two to three thousand people a day just smiling, saying hello. I can impact on different areas of society greater than I could if I was standing on the high street. I've had another woman when I was singing Ave Maria just stopped and, and listened and was crying the whole time while I was singing it and that was just incredibly moving so it obviously meant a lot to her. Two schoolgirls came along, kind of teenagers, and I was busking at um, Green Park. Hey, where's me tiger's head? They stood in the middle of the subway, kind of in formation, and they started dancing. And they were synchronised with each other and with me. They were really good fun. There was one woman in the Charing Cross, must have been about 78. She came up to me and she gave me two crisp five pound notes and said, you've got to take that. You've reminded me of my childhood as a little girl in Wiltshire. And she danced off as I played some Morris music for her. It may be something I remember for a long time, just you playing that few notes. By doing this, I get to be creative and just being able to make a living doing something I love. It's something I'm very lucky, really. <laughs> lucky to have got it.